On the Google Display Network, there are a lot of different ways you can reach your target audience. And one of the ones I like to use for branding and awareness are affinity and custom affinity audiences. Today we're going to talk mostly about custom affinity audiences because I think they are a better fit for most advertisers than regular affinity audiences. So let's start off by talking about affinity audiences and then we'll get into how to customize those and make them more actionable for your accounts. Affinity audiences are meant to be an extension of TV advertising. It even says in the Google Help section that these are designed for businesses currently running TV ads who want to expand the reach of that campaign with an online presence for an efficient price. Even if you do have a national level TV size budget that you can utilize online, why not start off with something a little bit more specific that's more tailored to your target audience? And that's where custom affinity audiences can come into play. So what we want to do is be able to leverage different interests, URLs, places, and apps that people are utilizing online to be able to direct custom affinity audiences on the Google network. So let's hop into the Google Ads platform and walk through the setup of a custom affinity audience to see what it looks like and see how we can understand who that will eventually target on the Google Display Network. So here in the Google Ads interface, we want to be able to find where to set up a custom affinity audience. These are only eligible for the Display Network, so you'll need to make sure in the left-hand navigation that you are on your display campaigns. You can then either choose the campaign that you want to start off with or head down to the Audiences page within the interface. I'm just going to do it this way because it's relatively easy. I'm going to click this button and then hit Edit Audiences. That will take me into a place where I can choose what ad group I want to set that up for. I already have a custom affinity audience placeholder in here as well as some ad groups. So I'll click on this interest text ad group and then it brings me into the audience builder. You can see that I'm still in this campaign, still in the ad group, but now I'm actually in the area where I get to edit all the targeting for this campaign. In these sections over here, you can start to look at what targeting options are available for the Display Network campaign. I'm going to stick in this top one that says Affinity and Custom Affinity Audiences. So the first thing that happens is you actually see the list of the preset Google Affinity Audiences that are the extension of TV advertising. These are already created around certain themes or characteristics of people who are behaving a certain way online. So you can easily check a box in the same way that you could for topics or in market audiences, but they're at a much broader level because they're an affinity audience instead. So if you scroll through here and you find some that fit, maybe in the banking and finance industry, maybe you want to target avid investors. That's great. That's something that you can easily click and add to your campaign. But what we want to talk about is creating something that's a bit more specific. So you scroll down just a little bit and you'll see the blue button down here to create a custom affinity audience. When you click on that, it adds a pop-up and now we can start to actually add the different targeting parameters and the different characteristics we want for each of these. So I'm just going to create a placeholder name, affinity audience, I'm not going to add a description. But then down here at the bottom is where you actually add in the targeting that you want to use for your campaign. As we talked about earlier in the help section, you can use either interests, URLs, places, or apps to be able to create a custom affinity audience. For the interest piece, that's effectively using keywords to be able to target somebody. So what we want to do is come in here and add in keywords or phrases that are meaningful to our audience and we think that they might either search for or have an affinity toward online. So let's say you're a golf equipment store wanting to sell golf clubs to golfers. What we can do in the interest section is actually type in maybe some of the brands of golf clubs. So that could be Titleist Golf Clubs, TaylorMade Drivers, Odyssey Putters, and anything else that makes sense for your target audience. Once you're finished adding some of the interests in here, you can come over to the right hand side and click Get Estimate, and Google will go out and come up with an actual weekly impressions count that you could expect to have from this custom affinity audience, as well as telling you some of the different insights about the audience that you have just created. It will show you some of the topics that you would likely rank for, as well as the demographic breakdown of the audience that you're trying to reach through this custom affinity audience. This is a really good gut check if you've put together an audience that you think is really meaningful. You then want to come in here and check just to make sure that it seems to match up with the Google Display Network targeting. That way you're reaching the right people because that's our end goal anyway.
You can also add in different parameters in here. So on top of interest targeting, let's say we also want to add URLs. So people who read Golf Week magazine, golfweek.com, or somebody who goes to Golfsmith, another website to buy golf equipment. You can then add those. Now we have five items added, three interests, two URLs. You can then reload the estimate group to be able to see how the changes you've just made have impacted your target audience. As you can see, the weekly impressions went up quite a bit. Um, still looking at demographic breakdowns, it's still heavily male. And then you can check back in on the topics section to make sure that it still fits within what you want. So golf equipment, sporting goods, golf, all that looks to be pretty tightly themed around the golf equipment type of audience that we want to reach in the first place. When you're done putting together your custom affinity audience, just hit create. You will then be able to find it again in your interface by navigating to the affinity and custom affinity audience section. You can then click the drop down and it will show up in a checklist that you can come back to and revisit later and add to any of the other campaigns you have in place. You do not need to recreate your custom affinity audience every time you want to add it to a campaign or ad group. And that's it. With just a few quick steps, you're able to set up a targeted affinity audience that is actually speaking more directly to the customers that you're trying to reach. Over time, if you're not getting the scale that you need or you need to grow the audience that you're trying to reach, maybe look back at that preset affinity audience list to see if one of those fits in. But in the, in the meantime, I highly encourage you to start off with a more highly targeted custom affinity audience for your campaigns. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. Thank you.